All right. How about some show feedback? Sure. Uh, Jay Avery has to say first for shipwreck. No, first for cheapy. Sorry. Mm. I'm reading ahead. Mm. Uh, cheapy. My son just finished fifth grade and got an iPhone for his birthday, not graduation. It's basically a necessity for middle school, unfortunately, because everyone has them. My oldest is in constant communication with her friends. It must be awesome. So how's that going? Any updates on a phone for the, for che- for little Cheapy? Yeah, we got him. Um, well, we got him um, Mrs. Cheapy's old iPhone 6. And I, uh, okay, that's a good start. So... I discovered, you know, I'm trying to figure out like how you can, you know, you got to lock these things down. So I'm trying to do research into that. And it seemed to be like the easiest thing, at least for me to do, was use the Verizon. Verizon's our carrier and they have something called Smart Family. And you could basically turn the phone into a paperweight. You can, you have a lot of options on what you limit and the times and all that good stuff. So we've got that thing pretty locked down. The one thing that it doesn't do is if you're on an iPhone, like if you if you're on an Android phone, you can actually read your kids' texts from the, right on your phone. Um, if you're on an iPhone, that doesn't work because everything's through iMessage and it's secure, I guess. I need to ask my wife how she does it because she gets all of Sabrina's. Maybe because it's not a phone thing; it's all email based. I don't know. This one is pretty good. I mean, you can. You have total control. Like if I don't want him to visit any websites, I can do that. If I want him to basically just be allowed to text his friends and use it as a phone, I can do that all through this app on my phone. You have to do have to pay though. You have to pay five bucks a month for that. But I don't know. If you pay ten bucks a month, you get like you can have location alerts. But I don't. That's I don't. Can't think you just that. share your location? Yeah, exactly. So I'm okay. not doing that. I think right. what's going to happen, similar to the whole ring alarm thing, that when iOS 12 comes out and it's supposed to have real family controls built into the operating system, it might be difficult for the carriers to charge for this since it's going to be free. I'm assuming it's free on the iPhone. They'll they'll find a way. <laughs> they'll find a way to it. Yeah. I don't know. So, yeah, that's that's where we are, and he doesn't, you know, he leaves it at home. It's really only just for ch- talking with his friends, and when we go out, it, it stays home. There All right. Oh, and he also had to say, for Shipwreck, I'd love to hear your impressions on the Dream K replay once you've had the chance to play with it some more. I'm building an arcade cap this summer, and I'm not sure what to use for the guts. I was thinking of a Raspberry Pi 3B+, plus, but this thing looks like it has a small footprint, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I mainly want to use it for arcade games, but some other stuff might be cool, too. So, any updates? I I haven't had a ton of time to play with it this week, but I have played some more arcade games with it. I played some RoboCop, mm. and mm. I played how uh, timely, yes, and I played the Spider Man arcade game. Um, I don't know if do you remember that one? Did is you play that one in the Spider-Man arcade? arcade is it the game? one with uh, who is it? Is it like Hawkeye? It's someone weird, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Spider Man and Hawkeye yeah. and um. Uh, uh, who oh else? yeah, yeah, Black, yeah, Black yeah. Cat and ne- Nemo. Nemo. Yeah, Namor. Namor. <laughs> yeah. Namor. Of course, I just uh, yeah. One of the first levels has like this huge Namor sign. Um, that that's, that's a fun still game. Fun. Sorry, yeah. it's Submariner. Not. <laughs> well, he's Prince Namor, the Submariner. Oh, okay, okay. Right. He's Sorry. the first superhero of Marvel Comics. He sucks. He's also no. the first mutant. Hawkeye mm-hmm. looks pretty Great. sucky. Too. And he's a king. And he has wings so, on his feet. Do you have any of those things? I don't know, but Hawkeye's wearing an awful lot of clothes. <laughs> I mean, it's like a muumu. It's crazy. All right. So the yes. the Dreamcade, I'm still messing around with it. I need to compare it to like some other emulators or something because it's playing it's playing games and it's playing well enough, but it still has I'm playing it on an emulator feel to me, okay. which is it's fine. I mean, that's what you're kind of signing up for with these things. What about the interface? That's like, is it, that's what my, th- it's, th- yeah. I mean, it's, I would say seven out of 10. Okay. On the interface. Um, my current one is like a three. <laughs> so 
Yeah. The the current the first one that we did. Is that what you're talking about? No, mine. Well, I'm, what I oh, have on oh, my camera. Oh, okay. But I there's um, a lot of different ones, but because this guy's yeah, asking it, about his to, cabinet, I have to try. You can like it. It comes kind of like with the emulators that they preload on it and everything, and I need to to go download some other ones to get some more systems on there and, and do that type of stuff. Which the nice thing about this is that it can be as complicated as you want it to be. Sure. Like, it it can be real simple and you play with what's available on there and, and do that, or you can really mess around with it because it's it is just a Windows ten PC. So you think it would be good inside an arcade cabinet? That was part of Jerry's question. I, I do, yeah. I, I think it think it would. Um, I think I need to tweak some stuff and, and mess around with like the actual technical side of it to see what it can actually do. Still, okay. But I, I'm I'm happy with it. So, I think it's crazy that it was only a hundred dollars still. Especially when the the Atari's what three plus right if you want the controller <laughs> i forget yeah i forget it was too crazy i had to and i'm sure the atari one's going to be powerful but it's not going to be i don't know it's you're not, not sure it's about good, anything about think. that atari system right. let's be honest they did get one of the xbox hardware guys in there right they hired him recently oh one of the original i think xbox uh hardware guys I saw a story on it, and I and I my immediate thought was, oh, okay, that adds some legitimacy to it, and oh, okay, they're just now hiring a hardware guy. Yeah, Good, yeah. Twenty twenty, if you're lucky. Any other show? No other show feedback. There was like four. What? Things. Yeah, people don't want to talk to us anymore. I have feedback for the, our listeners. Leave more Good. feedback. Yeah, exactly. I got some feedback for you right here. All right, what is it? You do? No, I don't. No, it's, no. That's, that no. was it. Yeah. So what a letdown. I I know. All right. 